We're talking preamp noise today with the Behringer X32, S32, and Wing. Let's get into it. Join the channel for just $1 to get exclusive member-only content and early access to future videos. Our first step is going to be to set the preamps to apply the same amount of gain. We'll use the sound bullet to send tone at minus 40 into each input and then set a matched level all the way through. Uh, we're using a USB connection from each console to the computer and taking direct outputs of these mic pre's patched directly to channels in Reaper, so we'll set the level to be equal there. We don't want to assume that the number readout on any console is super scientific, and we definitely want to verify that. Once we have both preamps applying the same amount of gain, we can then terminate each input with a 150 ohm resistor across pins two and three so that we're not just listening to an antenna. Next, we can record each preamp and compare. We'll repeat this same process for the wing, and there you'll notice that the preamps only apply 45 dB of gain, so we'll have them wide open in this example to match our levels up in Reaper. We're using the same 150 ohm resistor here in all three examples, so they are identical from one to the next rather than trying to create multiples that match. And then of course, we'll repeat the exact same process for the S32 stage box. Now this one is connected to the X32 over AES50 in this example. So it's AES50 from S32 to X32, then USB into the computer from there. I'll leave you now to listen. First, you'll hear each as recorded, then with 80 dB of boost. I thought maybe that extra high pitch was coming from the network gear in that rack or maybe even the power supply for the USB hub. So I took it all apart, moved it over to the other side of the room where the wing is and repeated the test for the X32. Unfortunately, the result was exactly the same.
what do you think? Remember, the noise is being boosted 80 dB from the recorded level so we can compare in this video, but do you think this was a worthwhile exercise? Are you surprised by the outcome? Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see these tests done going through the entire console instead of just using the direct outs. Dave Ratt recently did a video like that with the X32 versus the Midas M32. Cool, cool. And I'll link that below so you can check his stuff out. I posted a story a few weeks back about testing the noise on these Radio Design Labs mic preamps, and we'll have the results for those along with the Behringer Flow and a few other mic pre's we got laying around here coming up very soon. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these types of videos. Thanks for watching.